On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at a Shimano GRX 810 rear derailleur. This is an 11 speed derailleur in Shimano's GRX lineup, and it seems to be a mixture of what you get in Shimano Ultegra RX, the clutched version of an Ultegra derailleur, and what you get in a mountain bike derailleur from Shimano. We're gonna go into some of the features and designs of this rear derailleur, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button that way you can see more videos like this into the future. So checking out this derailleur, you can see uh, that it's actually pretty low profile. So that's because this is a shadow derailleur, so it's got a B-link here that allows this to be mounted either using a direct mount hanger or with this B-link. And the derailleur itself is gonna have a super wide range to it. So this can run an 11 tooth cog up front and then a max low sprocket of 34 tooth. That means it can have a total tooth capacity of 40 teeth and a maximum front difference of 17. And part of how they're able to do that is through this parallelogram. Uh, much like a mountain bike derailleur, you can see uh, that it has quite a range to it. It's gonna allow the upper pulley to be kind of pulled down and behind the larger cogs. With the shadow link up top, it also pulls the derailleur behind the cogs, which helps out. And then for off-road prowess, this is gonna be set up with a clutch. What a clutch does is it basically limits the amount of rotation that you can get out of the cage. So in this case, it's quite firm because the clutch is on. We can turn that clutch off and then you'll notice that it's much more free. And basically what that means is when you're riding down a trail or down a rough road, things like that, with the clutch on, it's gonna help keep the chain a lot more taut. Now, Clutches being on can be a challenge because it makes taking wheels on and off a bit harder. But the other thing is it increases some of the shifting load. So if you're, say, wanting to run it buttery smooth, you can turn that clutch off, which then is going to allow it to move more freely. So now that we've taken a look at this derailleur, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. So we'll take our scale here and we'll go ahead and see that the derailleur comes in and weighs a pretty reasonable 253 grams. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Shimano GRX rear derailleur. Be sure you let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, leave a thumbs up. It lets me know you enjoyed the video as well as hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future.